Light up your pitchforks, gather in the group It's dark outside, but now I am the enemy And we're so young with no one to answer to Struggling night, you had a different Hey beauties, today I'm posting this highly requested video um, I wasn't planning to make this a video just because there's so many videos out there on this And to me it wasn't so original of me but since you guys love the one that I did on Instagram and I posted it three weeks ago, yeah, you guys were just like telling me that I need to do this. So that's what it looked like my first one I did. And you guys have commented like one of my Instagrammer XOXO Sarah says, please do more vanity tray stuff. So I decided to fulfill your request. I made a three tier one today. I definitely love this. I wanted something that's going to be on my nightstand. Put all my new nail polishes that I'm planning to use. And up here, I kept my jewelry that I wear for the day and just kind of tossed in there before I go to bed. Also, you can tell that I have a pair of studs that I got from Forever 21. And the beadings actually were functional this time. Not just decorative, but functional. So I hooked my stud earrings on there so you can actually hang your studs if you want on there. I hope you actually do this and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I want you to run, no, scratch that, walk to your kitchen, grab some plates, cups, and some maybe candlesticks. All you have to do is stack them up to make your stand. You can make one tier plate up to three or second up higher if you want depending how many things you want to store and now I'm using my super glue the E6000 this is the bomb make sure to get that or something that you really like because this stuff will hold and not break apart make sure everything is centered in the middle because if it's a little lopsided um, things gonna look uneven On the top tier, I have a little cute candlestick and it's going to be held with my dessert dish. This is going to store all my jewelry that I wear during the day and I can take it off at night. So after that, just let it dry. Now the fun part is coloring it. Any type of color you like, spray painting is the fastest. But since I couldn't find the right color in spray paint, I have to use a primer. As you know, primer is your base. It's going to hold your foundation, your eyeshadow, and thus going to make your product opaque. If you decide to go with a curly paint, again, use spray paint since it's faster. I'm using a foam brush because, as you know, with your foundation, a foam brush does apply a lot better. Even though it does absorb a lot of product in it, it applies evenly without streaking. And I just use two coats of this to make it so opaque because of that primer does a great job in making it bright and cover every spot possible. Let it dry for four to six hours to the touch. Almost done now, you get to use a protective coating. Make sure it's clear just like you would use for a top coat on your nail polish after you're done painting your nails so it prevents it from chipping. And I just set up my hot glue gun so that I can start decorating. You can keep it simple. I'm using my tissue rose paper that I made and the tutorial is in the link below if you want to learn how. Just glue everything to each bottom tier. Have they found me? Have they found me? I didn't plan how I was going to decorate this, but now I added another dessert dish to the bottom so I can add extra height so that my roses doesn't get smashed as I glue them on the bottom. I 
am going beat crazy. I just have so many of these and I didn't want to waste them all. But this time it's more for function than anything else. Looks like a cute little fence gate on the plate. You can hold your chandelier earrings and also your studs. I love stud earrings so you definitely will see studs on this every time I film in my bedroom. So yeah, you can place this in the bathroom, your kitchen, or even on your nightstand or vanity table. Whatever you want to store at, that's up to your choice. And yeah, have fun with it, decorate it, and store all your beauty products like your skincare, your nail polishes, jewelry too. When somebody comes into your house and see that, you can just say that you made it. So make sure to send pics of your creation to me. I would love to see them. I almost forgot, so please make sure to check out my latest videos. And if you're a newcomer, subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another tutorial. Bye, loves!